In this tutorial, we are going to look at Spinner. Let's create a new project. Spinner is a single line text field that um, let us uh, select a number or object from uh, order sequence. So let's add JavaFX library to this project. Project structure libraries Java. In my case, it should be program files Java. Java FX SDK 15.0.1 and library. Okay. Apply. Okay. Let's open um, FXML in SimBuilder. Please make sure you upgrade uh, SimBuilder to 15. I just upgraded a few days ago. So if you use uh, SimBuilder 11, your Java FX appears as uh, JDK um, 11. If you use a 15, it will appear as um, 15. So let me just change to anchor pane. Okay, controller is under sample dot controller. I'm going to add two label. One for um, label like a year one to four. That will be a spinner. Another spinner we will have a name of the course, for example, mathematics, statistics, science, and so on. So let's have one button. For outputs, we will use text area. Level reports to 1, 2, 3, 4 course. Um, reports to name of the course. Let me change to OK. For spinner, let's say um, LBL level. Different levels of course. This one LBL course. Spinner, I will use initial SP level. Second one, I will say SP course. PTN OK. Next one, say um, handle PTN OK for action listener. TA summary. Okay, save it. Let me make a more room. Okay, as you can see now, we are using JavaFX 15.0.1. Okay, that depends on SimBuilder. Of course, you can change back to 11.0.1. Here, let's add. Create data field. I will continue. One more. Then we go to um, add one method. Let's change the private.
once we change to private, you may need to add a notation called fxml. So we have um, FXML annotations. Okay. So let's look at first spinner. The first spinner we are going to look at level between uh, one to five. So we are going to deal with the integer values. Uh, uh, main idea is um, top hyphex. Normally, we we are going to deal with objects, so I'm going to use integer class. And then um, spinner, we use a value factory. There are three different value factories. Integer spinner value factory, double spinner value factory. Um, the last one is a list spinner value factory. So here we are going to use integer. Then we are going to use a new spinner value factory. We are going to use an integer spinner value factory. There are three parameters. First one is initial starting value, ending value, then um, initial value. So instead of typing number one, I will just say initial value constant. So here I will say int initial value declare as final. So we can make it as a constant. Okay. So that's how you set a uh, spinner with uh, initial value 1 and up to 5. For the second example, I'm going to use um, list spinner value factory. Can deal with a string object. That string object may refer to a uh, name of course. For example, English science. So let's say it's been a value factory, string object. So we will declare string class. Then we can deal with the new spinner value factory with the list spinner value factory. So that we can use um, list to do with the um, string objects. For actual values, we like to use observable list. With the string type. Cost list. Then we are going to report to Java FX collections. Then um, observable array list. The first elements will be English. Next one will be science. So we have a two elements. Okay, there is some um, error. Okay, I think this should be observable array list. Okay. 
there's a subclass of uh, observable list. We have to deal with the initial values, so we implement initializable. Then implement initialize methods. So we can set default value for two spinners. First one I will do with uh, label value factory according to SVF level, second one SP course, set value factory SVF course. We are using observable list so we can add more courses, add all. So let's say we are going to add two more courses. Mess, then history. Pretty much um, all. Let's say CTA summary, append text. Let's print it out objects. So SP label, get value. That's going to return integer value. So let's add one uh, tab. And then SP calls get value. This will return string value plus new line. Okay, by convention, um, when you're dealing with integer, okay, it doesn't appear at this point, but um, we should say a string. We change to string value. Because we uh, concave with the string value, that's, that's why it seems okay. In this case, we have to change a string, sorry, a integer to string. So just in case, let me just add that. Let's build. Okay, there is one error, line number 23. Let's have a look. Okay, 23 looks okay. Let's look at 22. Seems like a missing semicolon at the end. Okay, build. Okay, that's successful. Edit configurations. Add boolean options. Copy and paste it. Add modules. Java FX. Controls and Java FX FXML. Apply OK. So if you look at here, we have a two spinner. Uh, you can get a value, single line. Let me change science. So let's say level three mass. So we can select the single line value with the spinner. It's quite useful. Uh, it uses less space on screen. And then we can deal with uh, multiple values. That's all. Thank you.